All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I just picked up these. Uh, got these for Christmas for my wife. Wasn't she a sweetheart? So there is a little bit of video out there on how to mount these from India, but nothing in English. So I'm going to go ahead and do a video on how to mount these particular saddle stays. Now, in the video from India, they uh, the uh, the exhaust shield they showed putting it on after it was mounted on the bike I'm not going to do that I've already got it mounted on its saddle stay so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pull this bolt out right here and this bolt out right here so and then we're going to mount this so that way it looks something like that. And as you can see, it's already got a bolt hole down there already for that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that bolt out and we'll pick the video up from there. Okay, as you can see, I have now removed more of the bolts from the back of the bike and I have removed the bolt holding the rear shock on you're going to want to make sure you uh, if you've got preload put on there I would recommend you pull it back down to the factory original setting so there's no preload on your spring and you're going to need a pair of 14 millimeter in wrenches in order to do this okay so for this this is the uh, driver side portion of the racks so um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to mount this basically just like this okay so for this you're going to need either a 15 30 second socket or a probably easier to find 12 millimeter socket so I'm going to go ahead and get that mounted up and at the end of the video we'll go ahead and do a tool list of what you're going to need to put this on there. Okay, there you go. There's the complete product. Um, that's how the guys from India had it set up. I went and put the included little plastic coated washer right there in between the frame of the bike and the um, thing. And then down there, so you're going to you're going to need a six millimeter um, Allen wrench for this or hex key. You're going to need from right there, right here, you're going to need two 14 millimeter end wrenches. And then that one, you're going to need two 12 millimeter end wrenches. So we'll get the other side put on there and we'll go ahead and do another take. Okay, there you go. There's the uh, um, exhaust shields. Our panel racks are fully installed. You get a good idea of how they look. And we'll go ahead and mount the uh, the uh, saddlebags or panners, whichever term you'd like, on there. And we'll pick it back up. Okay, guys. So that is the completed product with the uh, pillion racks in place and the bags in place. I obviously wouldn't be writing like this per se. Um, you want to try to keep your uh, bags even, but. As you can see, the bags come all the way up like that, so you can really increase the height of it. I've already tested to see I can stick two milk jugs in here pretty easy. So, though I probably put one on each side, you can put two 12 packs. They'll fit inside with it strapped just like that. They come both of the bags, they both have got an independent strap like that, so. Um, the way you're going to, I've tried tying these on here and done with different ways. You're going to want to run it through the bars on the bottom and then up, up through here. So I may do something to get some more Velcro straps, something to get that blacking in there, but 
seems pretty tight you know you wouldn't want to run with this flopping around like that but you can obviously you can hook that on there and carry that on your shoulder so anyway um, like I said about $130 shipped for everything you see here um, one thing I forgot to mention in the mounting of this segment was that uh, you're going to want to go get you some washers it doesn't come with the washers right there you're going to have to go get some washers for that um, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put washers in here but they've got the flared nuts and the flared bolts so it should be all right anyway if this was helpful go ahead and like and subscribe this is by no means the final mod I'm going to put into this bike. I'm planning on putting some rear racks on here and with a pillion backrest and probably going to put some tank guard bars on here that will stick out far enough so if I lay this sucker down my tank's not going to get mangled. Um, but that will probably be a few months into the future when it warms up around here. It's currently about 16 degrees Fahrenheit outside here on December 25th. 2023